guys Lola from Red Moto. Today we're going to be installing a 2013 Chrysler 200 passenger side fender. Alright, so pull back on the bumper and it should release it. So you're trying to release it off of this part right here. So now we're trying to get to a bolt back there. This one right here. Oh, there it is. Size that a 10? Yeah. Okay. That bolt's off. We're gonna move on to the next step. Pull back on the bumper. And it's right underneath there. So you're gonna try to grab that bolt right there. It's gonna be a 10 millimeter. So underneath the uh, fender, there's two bolts, just right there. It's gonna be a 10 millimeter. The fender's already off. All right, so once the bolt, you don't have to completely move the bolt, but if you did, that's fine, but it just comes right off. So it's gonna be another Clip right there underneath the fender. Just go ahead and take that off. That's it. Right. Looks like that's it. Now we're gonna move on to the next step. That'll be on the door. the door. So this door's pretty banged up, or the fender's pretty banged up, so the door won't open. So just gonna pour it a little bit. There it is. And now there's a bolt right there. The next step would be a bolt from the back. So you gotta push that fender liner to the side. So again, that bolt for the fenders right back there. Once you take off that foam piece. I'm gonna go and take that off with a 10 millimeter. Right there. I can see it, I can see the bolt. Okay. Can you see me? Yeah, I can see you. So go ahead and take the bolt right there. It's a little hard because this fender is bent. Okay. Right, so that bolt looks like that. After that, we're going to go ahead and loosen up these bolts on the top. That the fender comes right off. And this is what the inside of your fender looks like. So whenever you guys put in that new fender, make sure that the hole goes underneath this uh, little bracket right here, so you can put that bolt back in. So it's gonna be near the headlight. So we're gonna take off that uh, bracket. It's a fender bracket. So basically, I believe there's clips back right there. I think it's on the outside. I can't tell. Oh no, it's bolted. <laughs> Guys, an idiot. So now you get a flathead. And wedge it in between that so you can pry the, uh, the bracket off.
that with the new fender, we're gonna put that bracket back on there. And just push up on it, and then we're gonna put those bolts, the 10 millimeter bolts in there. Now we're gonna go ahead and put that fender on. So first he's gonna line it up with that bracket that I was talking about. There it is. Once you got that bracket on, then the fender just goes on. And line it up on the top. So you gotta move that fender liner. That was causing him not to get that uh, fender on. We're gonna put one bolt in on the top so the fender doesn't fall down. Now we're putting the bolt on the bottom. Okay, now all we're doing is just putting those bolts, hand tying them, then we're gonna adjust for alignment in a few minutes here. Thank you for watching our 2011 and 2014 Chrysler 200 fender replacement. If this video helped you out, please leave a like, it helps us out. Give us a follow, hit the subscribe button. We're gonna put the link to this uh, painted fender in the comments and in the description. As always, we appreciate you for watching. Visit us at revmoto.com.